as little as there is in this game, let's be honest here. Man, I'm just going to parry, and then I get extra three frames of end light on everything no, 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 they no, do, No, 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 no. You up smash, spot dodge, up smash. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I see you too play Smash Ult. <laughs> yep. Attack canceling is a fun and interactive thing sometimes. Okay, hopping into the match. Camel opted for his Pikachu. I know he's still got that Game & Watch on the back burner. That was interesting. Camel, definitely a very defensive player. I didn't, uh, the Bows, who I honestly don't really see him as defensive. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to find a defensive Bowser Jr. because a lot of their strength comes from their movement options with the uh, cart, just dashing back and forth like that. So it's something you've got to be careful about when you're playing this character. Yeah, you don't really have the run speed to contest with camping in the like running away, I guess, too much, unless you're just carting back and forth. Yep. There we go. Good combo coming out from Camel. Getting some damage, but a cart going to save the day for the Bows here. Yep. The issue of this is going to be Pikachu can rack damage very, very fast, but it, they don't have that many kill confirms into stuff, mm -hmm. so it can get really hard sometimes. Only have if kill confirmed before smashing those. Yeah, I mean, if you can call out that cart with something, that's definitely going to be to your benefit. Right, even percent, basically. Yep. Sad Mecha Koopa just bouncing off the shield nowadays. Their reverse aerial rush down there was actually kind of slick. There we go, gets the grab. But Edge Guardian Pikachu, definitely a tall order with all the options they've got off stage. So many mix ups in this game. <laughs> yep. Just for the Thunder, yep. There we go. Doesn't get the strong hitbox. Back air, though, definitely a good disjoint to contest a lot of Pikachu's moves. Oh, that almost went through both of those Thunder Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a big, meaty cannonball. It's better. Punish. All right, a little greedy. That's you getting low and catches the jump. Unfortunate DI on the, on the side beat. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that was he didn't want to shield another card attack there because his shield was low. So good call by the Bows just calling that out. Yep. All right, up there. Down for me. I know my throws, I swear. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that Nero is probably at home right now crying because Camel still can't find the kill. Yeah, it's kind of a kind of a, a struggle. Man, that ain't even Pichu tilt. Up. Able to get up through him. Yeah, I think Camel needs to work on staying calm a lot of the time in these situations. Yeah. Feels like a lot of times he's just fishes for his kill confirm, or when he can't find his kill confirm, he starts looking for things like dash attacks and neutral a lot, which yes, yep. you need to be doing, but sometimes not the best. Yeah, but he is doing a great job just racking up this damage here. Yeah, as I was saying, that he started Ooh. getting some really good combos. Oh, <laughs> that's a call out if I ever saw one. Wow, actually getting the cart right on past that grab there. All right, up beat in there. Calls out. Camel's just barely getting in before those aerials come out from the bows. Camel not giving these dashes that the bows is really looking for. Yeah, just been doing a good job playing patient, waiting out the dash attack, and then just punishing it after it comes. Goodbye. Ooh. Oh, good DI there to keep himself alive on the Barely scene. living. Yep. Oh, that was a down air out of shield. Unfortunate. Those are always the most stressful situations. Just sitting in shield right in front of your opponent, you're both facing each other. Oh. <laughs> Not to catch in that off beat. Wow, actually bouncing through those and actually catching up. Ooh. Wow, that was such a nice setup. He had the one bowling ball falling, and the other cannonball just floating right up in the air to catch the jump. Combo uh, breaking on the down beat. That's how you even it up. Just go after him and punish at disadvantage. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta you gotta do it. Yeah. I mean, what what's he gonna do out of disadvantage? Card it you? The answer yep. is yes. He's oh. going to card it. Yep. All right. Another one. Okay. Oh, goes for the thunder. Oh, I thought oh, he was yeah, gonna go a for a downer there at the end. Because so, I know you can get reverse up air to thunder to link, but I think you need a uh, double jump. There we go. Still racking up some good damage here, but the cart armor helping out the bows. No cart though, as I say that. Yep. I mean, just like that. I think the bows was looking for uh, maybe up B and neutral. Yeah, and that's definitely something he's been hoping for Camel to do, but Camel doing a good job mixing up when he uses it. 
Okay. Oh, grabbing him out of the up beat before that could come out. Tries to stab a roll. Up it. Ah, oh, man. It and keeps on spinning past him because he's expecting a normal cart that just stops in front of you, but Bows keeps on using that spin out to uh, keep him safe. Good forward smash, though, calling out the side B into him. Yep. Nice hit, and Bowser Jr. there because that does not have the armor. Doesn't react to the down throw. Oh, <laughs> he almost called that out with the up smash. <gasps> Is that? No, he had a jump. There we go. Gets the grab. What's he going to go for? Up, up throw. throw. Nope. Try to get that cheaty little thunder in there. Yep. Yep, dash attack going to start being an option oh, here. <laughs> yep, got a bit to agree with the dash attack. So it's a good kill option for Pikachu, but the problem is it leaves you wide open if it misses. Yep, which that's kind of what I was getting at, where he sometimes over commits too hard, looking for those kills where he just needs to calm down, take a deep breath, and be like, okay, I, yeah. I can get the kill. It's on Pikachu. Like, yep. even if my like dash tag doesn't yeah. kill you, eventually my up throw is going to kill you. And he was very close yeah. to dealing with You want to talk about getting the kill, though. <laughs> this is a nice up. Look at that. The this first cannonball thing. falling right past the ledge, making him second guess if he can make it in time. And the second one waiting for that up B. Yeah, he and Tamil slightly missing that angle trying to hit ledge, and they just covered it perfectly. Yep. So going to FD game two. I see how Tamil take people a lot to FD. Yeah, may not have liked those platforms no for the Bows to retreat to. I don't know if he touched you around still. Doesn't look like it. All right. On the shot of it. Gets the up air combos. Oh my god, that mecha poop just in the perfect spot. Bowser's is so good at placing it exactly where Camel wants to be. Yeah. Like and he thinks he has an opening. Yeah, just imagine if it didn't die on shield. You know, honestly. I really feel like people uh, did not punish that move in Smash 4, and it like yeah. blew my mind. It's crazy. Cause like you could actually oh better. Sorry, spot unfortunately. Just jab and grab it. Yeah, you just shield it and then immediately press A and you grab it every time. But forward smash can take that. That's just such a strong smash attack. Even in Smash 4, it was ridiculous how strong it was. Up it. Oh. This gives the Bows another opening to rack up more damage here. Punches and lag. If Tamil can stop the bleeder right here, he's definitely still <laughs> within realm. I mean, he keeps getting so close to getting the kill, but the Bows is just yeah, just right or just far enough where it won't kill. Ah, uh, that was grab. Yep. Yeah, just overreaching these punishes. Oh, <laughs> and catches the get up. Or smash and take it, though. Yeah, this is turned from a bleed to a gush at this point. But can Tamil say Tom now? Or at least calm himself down a bit. Yep, there we go. Using that down B to get out of the combo, definitely a nice call. Try to read the dash away with the dash tag. Doesn't give him the though. Honestly, one thing I would like to see Camel try, <laughs> aside from avoiding those, <laughs> he's, there we go, use the throw. Just get him off stage and use your speed and agility to punish him because there's only so much he can do once you get him off stage. Oh, that call out. Yeah, up there should kill now, but will Camo start, stop looking for them? There we go. Catches him cannonballing a little bit too much there. Which, honestly, no skin off his back. Okay, we got loops. There we go. This is what he needs in order to get back in the game percentage wise. Doesn't get the turnaround up here to extend. Nice and they're out of shield there just to poke through. Oh, that something flat, flat almost hitting. Yep. Right back here. <laughs> <laughs> I love the option, but at the same time, I can't tell if like, he's trying to uh, do a B or a side B or not. Or yeah. up to neutral B. Yeah, and I mean, when you're at the percent like this, Getting those trades, honestly, is not as damaging as it could be because you're already at kill percent, so what's a little bit more percentage anyways? Yeah. Another thing I honestly don't see Camel do is look, look for his narrow smashes. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I honestly don't see him go for it too often. I wonder why. Maybe there's a reason. I don't understand how it could. Another part of it may just be the percentage that the Bowser's is in. Yeah, he's way past it now. Up there. Still not enough. Next one will though. I hope so. Or you can just get a fair. That works too. 
And just like that, Campbell's managed to make this an uh, even stock game, but the percentage is definitely not in his favor. All right, good bar back here. Should be three. Ooh, those are the four. There. Two piece for both. Gets to grab oh. that guy almost <laughs> murdered him. The fact that he didn't die though at 100. Oh, you're dead. Yep. Bear calling out that ledge jump. Yeah. I mean, he was typically using either the standard gift or just jumping past him. So using that bear like that covered both those options. 